this up. up. This is uh, PDL week seven, I believe. When, um, what's the name of this team? It's uh, South Jersey Subats. Don't get confused with, uh, I guess, North Jersey. What is it? It's this one, I think. Yeah. Okay. I hope I put my nicknames in. Everyone's got an item. All good to go. I'm fine with that music. I could really use the win. I feel I have a pretty good shot at playoffs, but if I win this match, then it's like a, it's guaranteed, I would say. Differential could be good. I do have to play the only undefeated player for week eight, so. All right, what did you bring? Go. Lillen. He didn't bring the um, the Sun Scorch. Other than that, it's about what I expected. Um, um, stick to my game plan of leading Levo. I'm hoping he doesn't lead Dragapult. what the Holucha could be for an unburdened set since he doesn't have any terrain. I think the only way would be if um, maybe a Primarita learns Misty Terrain. I don't know if it learns that, but that could be a way in which he executes the unburdened sleep. Go like high five to my opponent. I should have cleaned the screen before I started recording. Well, that's my bad. It leaves a yip yip. Ah, oh, it is the drive of the logo. Okay. So, I'm not sure if he's like Scarf or not, but he should outspeed me for sure because I'm banded. Um. I don't really have a good switch in the Dragapult. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. I'm just gonna go for Ice Shark for damage. This will put it in range of the CGI so I can always come and revenge it. Okay, he switches out. That tells me he's afraid of uh, Scarf Weevo. So he's not Scarf himself. Those are chip. This is like a little more than a rocks chip, I would say. I'm gonna go on Corviknight here. And then probably pivot out into the CGI. We're playing on 20 minute timer, so I want to move smoothly through this, not think too much about it. He's got the Alolan Doug Trio, so there's a good chance he's brought rocks to chip down my team. I do have Defog on Corviknight, as well as Magic Bounce on Hatterene, so he's got to be very careful about how he wants to play around that. He probably knows I'm banded now. Kinda wish I triple axled. Guess we're scald, okay. I was expecting hyper voice, but that works too. No burn. If he stays in, oh, I should probably move first unless he's fast. Um, from the look of the damage, it looks like he might have some bolt to him, though. If he, could, if he stays in, though, and he, like, skull burns my Decidueye, that does kind of suck, but I'm okay with that. Decidueye is more meant to sponge hits, knock off items, things like that. He switches, okay. 
Yep, yep. It's the Dragapult. Boop. And about, I think that's 10%. We'll go back into uh, Weavile. I do want to triple Axel this turn, but um, is it worth the risk? I don't know anything about this Dragon Ball. Hmm. I'll go for triple Axel, I think. I can live a hit as long as he's not Specs or Life Orb. Or if he's not Modest or something like that. Although if he's Modest, he might be afraid of speed tying with Weavil because that is a thing. If he decides to run like modest or add an or something like that. I think I need all three hits to KO this though. He decides to withdraw. That's good for me, so I get a lot of damage off on something. He goes in the high row. That's the, uh, that's the Snox. And I miss. Am I able to switch up moves here? No, I'm not. We're gonna go into Girder. Girder is my check to Snox this week. Imagine if I predicted that. This tells me that Snox is most likely thick fat. Although, I'm sure it wouldn't take too much from a, an Ice Shard, which is probably what he expected, so... Tripbox has got like a, a very high risk, but if we will, a Choice Band is just very high reward. I really hope the uh, Man Buzz is not um, Rocky Helmet. Because I, I can take a lot of recoil for that. He goes for Fire Punch, okay. That does nothing to me. Um, what would he go into on Gurger? Dra I think Dragapult is kind of like a, like an obvious one. So, if that's the case, I will just, um, what is Thunder Punch? It covers like the Prim Green as well. It covers the Mandibuzz. Might reveal to me what his Mandibuzz item is. I don't think we've seen that item yet. Yeah, it's not a Specs Prim Arena. He would have done like almost half. Okay. When a punch comes off, there's a good chunk. I, I think he might be special defensive. Um, this is a good opportunity to go into Corviknight and I think Roost. Depends on what he does. If he get, if he knocks off, that is completely fine with me. I don't think Corviknight really needs a heavy duty boost. I just didn't have any other items to use because I already gave the leftovers to the Deciduai. Although he does have rocks, but it's just more of a inconvenience than anything. He goes for Brave Bird, okay. this turn. I want to keep Corviknight healthy. Corviknight is my main pivot for this matchup and I do I don't want Corviknight to go down too early. I guess we're knockoffs. That's completely fine with me. We're gonna get up to almost full HP I think. Will you turn here?
U-turns. He's faster than me, so he'll get off the fast U-turn, which is great for me because I get the slow U-turn. If he goes in Dragapult, he might be in range of a Choice Band Ice Shard. It depends on his investment, but I think that would be the case. Let's see how much this does. Ooh. It looks about in line with um, what I prepped for, so I think um, we can just go in the Weave out here again. And I think. Um, he, like, it might be a roll to kill at this point, I think. But we'll go for Ice Shredder. It's just a very slow game of pivoting. He's not ready to give up his Dragapult yet, but he's willing to play it out on field instead of keeping it in the back. So he has to be very careful about how he wants to play it then. I really hope we don't run out of time because that that would really suck if one of us came out on top and didn't get that differential. Alright, that's a that's a Stomax. Alright, I think next time I'm gonna predict that and go for the low kick. Chip. He's not leftovers. Go back in the gator. If he has Body Slam and he goes for it and paralyzes me, I do have Guts, so I will be able to um, get an attack boost, which would be very helpful. I'm not too concerned about a speed drop on Girder, but a full paralysis could be a little annoying. He withdraws. He withdraws. Excuse me. Katara, okay. Not a huge deal. Um, do I, I don't know why I want to do that. I'll just go in the corner tonight because it's safe. I want to get in the CGI in a position where he's going for like a water move as opposed to a boom blast. He might try to predict me a second time. I don't, I don't feel the need right now to play it super aggressive. Corona just being a very good pivot in general allows me to do that. I switch out first, so he didn't switch out. I wonder if he has a um, flip turn. He has move boss, okay. Boop. Drop does not matter. I'll U turn here. Drag a bolt again. Yep, 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 yep. I like that name. He knows that I can kill him with an ice shirt because he knows I'm banded. I think this is the turn I want to make a prediction. This is a very high risk though because this is the only move I can't hit Dragable with. But I think we're fine. Feel me Snorax. Yes, got him. He can go into Dragable this next turn though. That is something I have to keep in mind. And there's a very good chance I am 2 a would by Dragapult's Flamethrower if he has it. He could also go into Pre-Marina. Pre That's, a, uh, I think, generally a better play. Because, um, he might want to conceal any information he has on his Dragapult set. We've all found that picking up his first kill, I'm very happy. Shouldn't have taken me this long to get it to kill, but I'm glad it finally did.
If you didn't know his bandit before, he will absolutely know now. Yep, yep, there's the dragon pool. I think we're good to go in the corner right here. It would suck if he um, goes to the fire move. I'm at full HP, so the only way he can actually knock me out is with a fire blast if he is not Light Ford. But he doesn't know that. I've also been switching this Corviknight out, so he may um, think that this is not gonna come in. He goes for a Shadow Ball. We're gonna get a damage roll. Down to 68. It is Light Ford, that is good to know. Um, nothing wants to take that, so I'm actually going to roost on the off chance that he switches or he, okay, he goes for flamethrower. So Corviknight goes down, I should be writing this stuff down. I think he's in range of this HUI, so I'm gonna go into Weavo. I think I'll go for the trip box again. Rogue Chop was like a attack for if the Primarina was Liquid Voice. I would have been able to prevent it from using its quote unquote water move. He goes into Katara, isn't that the... Oh, that's the Premier Ant. I'm forgetting. We got one. We got two. We got three. Uh, I have a switch safe into the Decidueye, so I don't want to risk that if that doesn't roll. Decidueye is my main check to Premier anyway, so... I think we'll see a moon boss here for sure. Because I don't have the core map to switch into anymore. Yep, there's the moon boss. Does a chunk. We're specially defensive, so we take that. Get some nice leftovers. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. This covers everything. It'll also give me some, some information. There's a, there's a good chance he might stay in an ice beam, but I don't know if he wants to lose Spring Marina, no. Yeah, he switches out. Azula, something different. Oh no, <laughs> we've seen that. How do you do the boots? Hmm. He must have thought that I would bring hazards. Oh, you turn. I have enough speed that I outspeed this thing if it's not running any speed. I think he's gonna roost on this turn because he knows I obviously don't want to stay in. Really hope uh, we get this battle done and not let it go to timer. He's used up a lot of time. I'm trying not to calc things. Hmm. I don't have... I can go to Weavile here, I think. Um... Or no. What if I... What if I went to this thing? No. I don't want to do that. No, actually, I can do that. That's fine. Three minutes left till the battle ends, okay. Choice specs had come through for me. Does Dragapult kill Oop. Did something? 
There's my Hatterene set. Yeah, life or dark one kills me. Oh, he doesn't it? This thing is dead. Um. An iron head is fairly obvious here. Hmm. I'll go into this thing. Go to gutter. You could get up rocks here. Although he might not want to if Hatterene's on the field already. He goes for Iron Head. Very well. Okay. He knows that um, I have Thunder Punch for Pre Marina. So he could go into Dragapult. I still think it's worth the Drain Punch though. I wonder if Dragapult can kill my girder at the range that it's at. He cannot. He goes into the mandibles very well. I'll go for the Drain Punch here. If I went for Thunder Punch, I think that would have guaranteed knocked it out. Let's go for Bach Punch to take it out. I might be typing that into it preemptively. Please give this to me. There we go. Go for a moon boss. I'll just go for just a guy here. Hopefully he doesn't double. Oh no, he didn't because he moved first. You guys with Shadow Ball. Very nice. This is why nothing switches in the pre marina. <laughs> I really like to recreate that, but that was a lot of switching and stuff, so I don't I don't think that's possible. We're not required to repeat that anyway. Alright. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hello.